Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the friendly challenge follow up to the live base build video. And today we're going to look at just a few attacks on uh, the base I built in the last video. So this gives you guys an idea of how good the base is. And now that being said, we only have two attacks to show, uh, both kind of the same attacker. Uh, one's a follow up uh, plan to the original plan. So not a whole lot. People just weren't on it really to attack the base. I had trouble finding people to do it. So I'm only going to have just uh, two attacks for you guys, but this weekend you can look forward to uh, all the 10,000 subscriber celebration videos, plus just some more regular videos uh, as we go. So that being said, we're looking at Groovy Tony, and he wanted to try out some Queen Walk Minor attacks, which I think is definitely one of the, the more popular strategies you see at Town Hall 10. So it's good to see how this base does against that uh, composition. You can see he's coming in from the top here. Uh, the king is pretty exposed, if you remember that from the last video. And by the way, I really encourage you to check out that last video, if you haven't already, to see how the base was built. But yeah, the king is pretty exposed. Drops down the rage uh, to keep his queen up. Uh, both the archer towers are going to lock on there to the queen, along with the king. But the poison uh, will allow the queen to take him out pretty easily, and then keep moving. Uh, so basically the goal here is to invest those three rages, plus the ability. So four different things to keep his queen up. It's going to be a huge walk. He wants to get some great value. But one of the things about this base is it's not that easy to queen walk uh, too much value. And one of the main reasons is there's no way to queen walk the giant bombs away. You can get one of the infernos. The queen can reach that bottom or that left inferno. But she can't take out any giant bomb spots because she can't reach any of those wizard towers, I don't think, uh, in the core, which is where the giant bombs are. So they're still going to be there for the miners, and because he only has a few heal spells, uh, that's not going to help him out very much, even though he got some great value for his queen. So uh, he ends up using all of his rages. I think he could have managed them a little bit better, but on the first, atta first attack, uh, sometimes it's hard to uh, to get things uh the rage is timed perfectly. Uh, out come the CC troops, and his queen is not going to be able to deal with them because uh, the baby dragon, the Valks, they're going to be too much. Queen goes down. You can see the miners coming in from the top. The king was kind of used in a weird way. He kind of just got some trash buildings taken out. Didn't do a whole lot. Uh, but there go the miners making their way on in. That baby dragon from the CC will go down. Uh, so he does have that. But that core is really good against miners because it has the uh, two high HP buildings. Has the skellies, the giant bombs. Uh, that one inferno is still up. The defenses, those expos, everything is kind of close together as well. So uh, it's Groovy Tony doesn't get it done here. You can see has... Uh, I think about 60% when everything's said and done. Uh, so nice try, pretty good plan. Um, he's going to go ahead and refine it a few times. He did have two attacks in between this, but I'm going to show his final attack and see uh, what was really his best attack on the base, see if he can get the three star. Uh, so let's check out his final attack he did on the base over the course of the, uh, well, I guess the two attacks in between uh, the two that I'm, that I'm showing. Uh, he made a few adjustments and... He's going to start the queen off in pretty much the same place. I think that's a good walk, um, but he's going to, uh, he's adjusted it a few times based on what happened the last few attacks. And this is really a good high value queen walk, but the only issue, once again, I said this before, is that if you can make it so that your, your base, as you can see mine is, there's nothing leading too far in because queen charge minor attacks they are somewhat popular and i think this kind of base um there's really no way to have your queen take out those central wizard towers uh cc storage in the middle where the giant bombs are so no matter how you do your queen walk you're pretty much going to have to still have your miners deal with the middle part of that base and i think that's so huge uh and even for, that goes for kill squad too i guess you could jump them into the core but it's just, it's not that accessible, I guess is what I'm saying. And you don't want your core to be, you don't want your core to just be able to be, uh, you know, attacked from different angles with the queen walk or with different kinds of things. Uh, so that seeking air mine does hit one of the healers, uh, pops the queen's ability just before she goes down. Uh, she'll lock onto that inferno and get it taken out pretty quickly. Uh, I think that last rage just went down. Uh, so the queen is doing okay. Drops in some wall breakers actually, which looks like they'll uh, do a good job laying the queen out of that compartment. Uh, the healers do start to go down, but I think that air defense, yeah, that air defense is going to start them, getting them in just a moment. But uh, I think just loses another one right there. The queen is doing okay though, sends in the king, uh, just kind of the back things up. He's actually going to go for that wall right there. So another good thing uh, about kind of the 
somewhat compact base. The king is just going to be beating on a wall. He's not doing a whole lot. Uh, so basically, the miners coming in at the bottom here. The queen went down, so the healers peeled off onto them. He goes ahead and drops that first heal spell very early. Uh, so he doesn't have a whole lot for the rest of the base here. And you can see the king is still not doing a whole lot. And the miners have to deal with that core, which is not friendly. And now that being said, most of the point defense was at the bottom of the base. Uh, so he got that taken out very early. And that will help him in some respect because you can see there's only a few cannons and like an archer tower uh, off to the right there. And that's pretty much it. Maybe one more expo. Uh, so the king is kind of tanking. He has a few uh, healers on him. He'll pop the ability in just a moment. There's that heal, that last heal for the miners. Uh, they'll get, you know, a big chunk of the base taken out. But you can see they are starting to run a little bit low on juice here. And there is some more core giant bombs to deal with. The king probably could have defused those, but he's just not moving quick enough, and it looks like he's going to go down as well. Uh, so not going to be a 3-star on either one of these attacks, but um, definitely a good a good series of attacks by Groovy Tony and some pretty good planning along the way. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, not the, a whole lot of attacks. I just I wish more people had, had volunteered to do this, but just didn't have any Town Hall 10s on. Really, either day I tried this, so we're stuck with what we have. But that being said, we are going to have uh, some fun videos this weekend, including the face reveal, um, watching my very first video, the new series, and regular videos kind of accompanying accomp going along with those. Uh, you'll see both regular videos and the 10,000 subscriber videos. So uh, look forward to that over the weekend. And I uh, had a pretty good first week of school, or at least for the first three days. Haven't had the first full week yet. So I'll keep you guys updated, I guess. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.